And it's great news for all of the people in Pittsburgh, for the citizens of Pennsylvania, and Americans all across our country. Donald Trump's first visit to Pittsburgh as president, he made a quick stop in North Fayette to tout the Republican tax bill. The president also gave a quick shout out to the Republican candidate in an upcoming congressional race. For more on the visit and Trump's message to Pittsburgh, we go live to political editor John Delano. John. Hey, Ken, you know, this was one of the quickest presidential visits to this area that I can ever recall. The president's plane landed at 2 p.m. this afternoon. He came right over here to H&K Equipment in North Fayette, and by 3.20, he had left. But he had packed an awful lot in a short period of time. Air Force One landed on a frigidly cold but sunny day where the president was greeted first by congressional candidate Rick Saccone and then by an enthusiastic crowd out on the tarmac. At H&K Equipment in North Fayette, the president toured the facility before addressing a large audience of supporters. I've come to the great city of Pittsburgh to stand with people, and those people are incredible workers and to show the world that America is back and that we are coming back bigger and better and stronger than ever before. The president says the economy has turned the corner. We have created nearly 2.2 million jobs since the election. The unemployment rate is at now an 18-year low. The number of Americans applying for unemployment benefits just hit a 45-year low. One local man got singled out by President Trump and called up onto the stage. Because of our tax cuts, Ken will save almost $2,200 in income taxes. 2000 So, Ken, you just got a $2,200 raise, huh? For Ken Wilson, it was all so unexpected. When he told me to come up, I... You have to go up. It's the president of the United States. I, I, I don't know what else to do, so I had to go up. Yeah, what else can you do? If the president calls you out, you got to go up on stage, and that's exactly what Mr. Wilson did. Now, KDK TV was the only television station that was invited behind the scenes on the president's tour of H&K Equipment, and I, I had a chance to ask him a question. We're going to have much more on that coming up, new at 6. Live in North Fayette, I'm John Delano, KDKA TV News.